What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how we like to use the Shotgun Empty Giant Mini Scheme. And a couple of things we want to cover in this video is how we like to beat man coverage out of the Shotgun Empty Giant, how we like to beat zone coverage, and more importantly, how we like to beat blitzes, man and zone blitzes from this formation. Now, this play deep in is really the main play we run. And what we want to do is we want to take Darren Sproles, we want to put him on a, a little five-yard in route, and then we're going to motion snap Kenny Stills in two steps. So we're going to click, uh, hit circle till it gets over to Kenny Stills. We're going to uh, hit left on the directional pad to motion him in two steps. Snap the ball. And our first read is going to be Jimmy Graham to the flat. Now, as you see, it gets two men under. They do a pretty decent job at covering uh, Jimmy, Graham in that Jimmy Graham in that situation. So then we want to progress to our second read, which is Darren Sproles on this little crossing pattern. And you see he does a really nice job of beating man-to-man -man defense. Our third read on this play is going to be Lance Moore coming across with Darren Sproles. And as you see, he and Darren Sproles are going to hit like right at the same point. And so you're basically just going to look to both of those receivers. And depending on the man coverage and what you see with the defense, you're going to figure out which one you want to throw to. Our third, or excuse me, our fourth read is this deep post, and we can click on and make a user catch against man-to-man -man coverage. We like to pass lead that with a bullet pass, and you bullet pass by holding down square uh, or the button of the receiver, and then we like to hit a hard pass lead down to the inside. So we like to hold the left analog stick down at about four o'clock on a, if, as if it was a, uh, if it was just a regular clock. And then finally, guys, this route to Kenny Stills, if we have time, is the same pass lead. It's just to the other side, so it's going to be at about 7 o'clock, and it does a very nice job at beating man-to-man -man coverage, but it is a late progression. But you see how all these war outs are all timing, timed at different points, and they work at different points. Now we're going to take a look at a cover to sink defense. This is really a very popular defense and we're going to see how this play fares against it. Here's our first read and you see our first read isn't really that effective again against cover two defense. That route is going to mainly be served well for uh, heavy zone blitzes uh, with 3D3 under coverage. So now we're going to progress to our second read here and you're going to see Darren Sproles is going to do a little bit a uh, better job than Jimmy Graham at beating zone, but it's still not exactly a great look unless you hit him a little bit quicker so that he can get upfield a little faster. Um, our third read, however, Lance Moore does a pretty good job as well, but again, we don't really like our receivers getting hit right as they uh, go to make a play. So our third read here, this deep post route, uh, it doesn't really do a good job either. Again, they're getting really uh, hit hard as soon as they're making the catch. So that leaves us with this RAS route to Kenny Stills. And you see, this route to Kenny Stills is going to sit in the nice little void underneath that uh, deep yellow zone. It just takes a little time to get the pass uh, completed. So here as we're going through, you should see Kenny Stills breaking in. And you see, that's a pretty nice look. But all of those routes get tackled. And so when we see a cover to sink, we really want to hit it really quick, as you see with Darren Sproles and Lance Moore, so that they can kind of attack the underneath weaknesses of a cover two. Next in our progression, we're going to take a look at cover three defense. And you're going to see, again, the first read on the progression. It's not going to be a great read, but it is going to be something quick. We can get the ball out of our hands. And if it's there, we'll take a quick little three or four yards. Three yards in Madden means a first down and four plays. Secondly, our second progression is going to do really good. Darren Sproles, you see against the cover three, does a really nice job at uh, splitting those two yellow zones and getting positive yardage, as does Lance Moore on this next progression. You see, again, he's going to do a decent job, but we want to watch out for hit sticks like we just saw because he is crossing over the middle of the field. Our third read, or excuse me, our fourth read is our favorite read on this play. That deep post to Marcus Colston is a very good cover three beater, and uh, it works really good in combination with that underneath route to Lance Moore. And then lastly, this route to Kenny Stills. If we wait, 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 pass lead in, and pass lead him to the inside. So at about nine o'clock, does a pretty nice job again at beating that cover three zone. 
Now we're going to look to the cover four, and this is where Jimmy Graham's round finally starts to be relevant. And you see here against cover four, it's going to get to the flat, and it's just going to say, okay, if you're going to give me the underneath, I'm just going to take the underneath, take the underneath, take the underneath, and I'm going to get positive yards, positive yards, positive yards. Our second read, as you see, Darren Sproles does a pretty nice job at beating the cover four. Really, all of these routes do a really nice job at beating the cover four. Um, here you'll see Lance Moore on that crossing pattern. Uh, does a pretty good job at beating the cover four if you can avoid that hit stick. And then uh, we'll take a look here at our deep post. This is probably the only thing that doesn't do a good job. And you see it still does, but we can get hit sticks with the, those deep blue safeties. Uh, but we can still do a pretty decent job at beating the cover four. And then this route to Kenny Stills, uh, when it cuts over the middle of the field, does a pretty nice job if he can hold on to the ball. And lastly, I want to show you this play against a heavy man blitz. So we're going to take a look at the dime flat DB strike. And take a look at Jimmy Green's route now. You see that it, when it checks to the flat, his player actually is going to blitz. And that's why we really like this route because there literally was no one on Jimmy Graham that time. And you can see the potential power that this route has because his player sometimes will blitz in a man assignment. Uh, and there you see Darren Sproles route is good against man as we showed earlier uh, and then you'll also see here if we continue to progress through you should see Lance Moore's route do a really nice job at roasting man-to-man -man coverage and in a cover zero blitz scenario uh, Lance Moore will definitely be scoring touchdowns and uh, helping us win more and more ball games and then lastly guys I want to show you against some zone blitzes you see on a 3D 300 zone blitz Jimmy Graham now has a one-on-one -on -one to the flat and if that safety isn't coming down like that, so say the blitz was to the other side. So here we'll show you a blitz to the other side. And here you see that the safety's not crashing down. Now Jimmy Graham can get out into the flat and get a couple of yards to really uh, kind of, again, stretch the defense. You have to at least make them honor that outside play. Uh, and then you see here, that's when you can start eating them up over the middle with Darren Sproles and Lance Moore. So that is how we like to use this Giants empty, gun empty giant blitz beater. And this is really what we really enjoy doing uh, in Madden 25. It's taking up one formation, use it for a specific purpose, but still have it to be applicable and usable against every defense in Madden. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like rating below. And let me know if there's something that you think that I can improve on in my commentary or my explanation that can help you uh, understand what I'm trying to give you for free even better.